Hey makers, this is Ruvin and I welcome you all to my Power BI Beginner step by step tutorial series. You are watching 15th episode of this series and in this episode I am going to talk about how you can publish your Power BI report in the world of workspace. So today we are going to learn about few of the terminology like what is Power BI service, how you can open your Power BI service, how you can publish your report, what are the ways you need to consider in your mind while publishing the report. So all of those concepts are going to be covered into this particular session. Today for the very first time we are going to open Power BI service. So far whichever activities that we have performed we have done everything into Power BI desktop. So first of all let's try to explore out what is Power BI service, what it offers and what are the things things you need to consider over here. So without further delay, let's get started. But before that, if you haven't followed me on Twitter and Instagram so far, do follow me. So first of all, let me just open up my browser and let me just open up my Power BI service. To open up the Power BI service, basically you just need the organization account. And first of all, in the browser, you just need to write a URL app.powerbi.com. When you hit enter, basically it will ask you for the credentials. Here you need to enter your organizational credential. So over here I am just entering my credential of my company. So I am just let me just entering my uh, credentials over here. So I am just entering Dhruvin at the Dhruvin at the power platform trainings.com. So I am just entering my email address and then let me just enter my password over here as well. I'm entering my password as well and let's click on sign in. As soon as you sign in, it just asks you to remember the sign in details and this is where I'm landed over here. So let it to be open and basically this is opening up the Power BI interface over here. So this is the home page of Power BI service and generally the question arises in our mind that when we should use Power BI service. So generally what happened here is whichever report that you have built so far it has been built on your Power BI desktop version. It's something that you know you cannot share it from Power BI desktop. I mean it is mainly the development tool right. Once your report is developed after that you just need to publish it out and basically you know your users are going to consume that Power BI report. So uh, your end user is basically accessing the Power BI via Power BI service. So it's like a cloud version where your report is being published and they can access it. So there is no dependency on any hardware or any computer from their mobile devices, from their, uh, from their browsers or from anywhere in the tablet or from anywhere. They can simply open up this Power BI report and access it smoothly. Now let's have a quick tour on the Power BI service and look out what it offers over here. So if you look at the overall Power BI service over here, it offers so many things. If you look at the left navigation over here, so it has so many different options available over here. Let me just zoom in a little bit so you can see it clearly. So you can see here the first option is the home option which is the home page of your Power BI report and over here you can see the recent report or any kind of favorite report or anything. Then you are having the create option from where you can build up your Power BI report from the Power BI service directly and different connectors and sources are available in order to build up your report over here within the service itself. Then you are having the browse option where you can see all your published report and look at over here. Then you are having one log catalog so any of your data model or one log catalog is nothing but you know how we are having OneDrive which is the central source of storing all the file. Similar way all the data model are available underneath the one log catalog over here. Apps again it's a, another separate concept where uh, you know after you create your workspace you can uh, create an app and distribute the app for the sharing mechanism so it's another way of sharing the application so you can have it out matrix matrix is again very another important concept in the world of power bi uh, this is again called as a scorecard as well so uh, you can have the proper scorecard and probably you know uh, it's a data driven collaborative way to track your business goal for your businesses so you can have it over here i have a dedicated series on power bi matrix as well so if you are more interested into it you can just have a look around that particular series over there okay 
then we are having workspaces and in workspaces we are having uh, i mean what is workspace which i'm going to talk about in a while so every time when any new user is coming for the very first time by default they are having my workspace my workspace is similar like your windows computers my document where you can see only your information that you have published over there so in my workspace you will be having your own published report over there all right apart from that if you want to create your own workspace you basically require a power bi pro license minimum level so without power bi pro license you will not be able to create any new workspace so if you just if right now if you don't have any rep uh, any licenses for yourself you can simply publish it into your my workspace but here i am going to show you the process of creating new workspace as well so workspace is nothing but it is a place where your all the report file or your data model and uh, so many dashboards everything will be available over here and this is how generally the workspace looks like okay so workspace is basically a combination of your report your models your uh, scorecards or so many different things you will be able to do it over here so when you click on new item in workspace how many things you will be able to do it you can see this thing over here like dashboard uh, paginated report real-time dashboard report scorecard you know so many things you will be able to implement over here in within the workspace over here okay if i click on more you are having some more option over here like if you just want to monitor anything just click on the monitor and basically uh, you can view and track the status of all the activities of all the workspaces over here uh, uh, you know within the microsoft fabric you can just uh, use that particular monitor tool over here okay uh, real time is something nothing but uh, it just provide the real time data stream again power bi report supports the import mode direct query mode and sometimes you need the instant operation so you can just connect any real time data sources if you want underneath real time section okay uh, then you are having deployment pipelines and function these are like a more uh, advanced topics uh, which we are not targeting at least for this particular beginner training program so i'm just keeping as is right now but this is the overall idea about the uh, power bi service okay uh, also on the very top of the corner you can able to see the trial or uh, i mean over here if you are on the trial it will just show you that how many days left over here or what kind of licenses you have probably you will be able to see here using this option so simply just look at this uh, click on your profile icon and at least from here you will be able to see that what license you are having at this point so right now i am having the free trial of 45 days left over here so i am able to see this option over here if you are already with the power bi pro or premium licenses probably you will be able to see those licenses over here uh, in this particular section okay so this is all about power bi uh, service overview okay now let me just uh, show you the process of publishing the power bi report into the power bi service okay for that as i explained we need to go with the concept of workspace generally what happen here is at the enterprise level whenever we are ready with our report and whenever we want to distribute the report generally we are creating a workspace again workspace is based on the permission so let's say for an example if you are from the hr department and let's say for an example if you just want to publish the report for the hr people or let's say for an example if you just want to publish the report uh, for your finance department so only finance people can see it so for all those department you can build up the different different workspace for them and only add the specific group of people into that workspace for yourself okay so workspace is again very very important generally at the enterprise level generally for each business unit for each department we are creating the different workspaces so only group member of those workspaces can able to access those reports so we are not just allowing everyone into the workspace uh, until and unless that is the case that okay your report to be viewed by everyone then maybe you can add everyone over there but most of the time we are just uh, adding the limited audiences into appropriate workspace all right now let me start creating the process of uh, creating a new workspace over here for this project so let's say here i'm just clicking on new workspace over here and here i'm just providing that okay uh, i just wanted to show this report to my sales team okay so i'm just providing over here the workspace name as power platform trainings which is my company name dash sales team so let me just provide here like power platform trainings and sales team 
okay so i can just provide that information over here all right now over here you can just provide any description if you want so i'm just providing here that uh, sales teams power bi report if you want to upload any kind of images over here as an icon for your uh, workspace you can just have it over here for yourself so let's say for an example uh, if you want you can just provide any icon over here so i'm just providing uh, some sort of icon over here so i'm just uploaded over here all right and now over here you will be able to see that uh, contact list so contact list is something that uh, you know whenever anyone is opening any report at the time uh, it will show the contact list person's email address so when some people are viewing the report and at the time they wanted to contact any uh, concerned person they can contact over here so you know if you just want to make i mean uh, this is something which is responsible for you know all the report development and also maybe you can just provide uh, any responsible person name over here so if any data is uh, wrong or something went wrong with your report the end users can contact this person from this contact list okay so i'm just having my name by default over here at this point uh, then the license mode for the workspace you need to select from here so you can select pro or premium per user it's again a different licensing licensing is in my last topic of this particular series at the time you will get a more idea around that but right now i'm just selecting the pro workspace over here that's pretty much it and let's click on apply over here and as soon as you click on apply basically it will create a workspace for you and here i am i'm ready with my power platform trainings sales team workspace over here so i just provided my company name and this is my workspace name. all right now over here you can manage the complete access using this option called manage access over here so when you click on manage access just click on that and over here it will provide you the option to add the different people so let's say for an example i have one employee in my organization and i want to provide him an access so i'm just adding his name and over here i'll just provide that okay what level of access i want to offer him whether i want to add him as an admin or member or contributor or viewer so these are the different permission level so when you make admin which means that it has all the privileges member means he can create the report publish the report share the report contributors are only i mean they are having contributor level access and viewer means only viewership access so they can just view the report they can't even edit the report okay uh, so over here depending on your need you can just apply appropriate permission over here i have a dedicated video on all these different type of permission on my uh, channel already i'm providing that link as well in the description box so you can have a look around that but this is at the very high level mostly the roles are self explanatory itself okay so currently i just want to add the person as a member a viewer so i'm just adding him over here and i just provided the permission to him with this particular way okay over here there is an option to add security group as well so sometime in your uh, in your organization if you are having any kind of uh, security group like let's say for an example in my organization i have some of the uh, security group over here okay and for those security group i want to apply any level of permission i can add that as well okay so it's totally up to you that how many how you want to manage the workspace table permission for yourself okay so currently i'm just adding two person at this point into this workspace over here all right now let's publish our power bi report so there are two ways as well to publish the report number one is you can simply clicking on new item okay and when you click on a new item over here there is an option sorry not in the new item you just need to click on import and over here there is an option report and you know you can simply upload it from your computer so you can just go there and you know wherever your uh, report file will be there you can simply select it and open it out and publish it out okay or you know if you already have opened this report into your power bi uh, desktop okay at the time you have the publish button over here and make sure when you are publishing it before publishing of your power bi report you should sign in with your power bi desktop over here so sign in should be happened already over here 
all right and now i'm just simply clicking on publish button from here so when you click on publish before you publish you just need to save your changes so let it to be and after that it will show you all the available workspace over here okay and if you recall this is the workspace so let me just search for my workspace power platform training sales team and that is also available over here so you can simply select this workspace name and click on publish and as soon as you do this basically this is publishing the report let's wait for a moment to publish our power bi report from here and let's see how it looks like it takes some time in order to publish your report and here i am my report has been published successfully and you can see it over here click on got it and now let's refresh our power bi workspace okay so i'm just refreshing my workspace over here and probably i should be able to see the published version of my power bi report and you can see that this is what my published version looks like all right now the question arises in your mind that okay this is your report looks like right so your published version of the report is over here right apart from that you can see some sort of model as well behind the scene so what is that okay so let me tell you whenever you publish your power bi report into the service behind the scene every power bi report file has the data model tied to it because obviously we have loaded some data into that right so that data model is called as a tabular model or semantic model inside the world of power bi and when you publish it you can able to see that clear thing separated out over here inside your workspace that okay this is your report and behind the scene this is the model just make sure that if you delete the model from here okay your report is also getting deleted so make sure you never ever delete this particular model from here all right so this is what your report looks like finally into your workspace okay now let's open the report and see how it looks like so this is what my report looks like and this is becoming your report url as well so whichever users you provided you can just share this url with them and they can access the report using simply that link and this is the exact same version that we published and you know when you click on appropriate bookmark it just show you appropriate data over here so over here you can see uh, these are the different pages of the report and this is what the final version of the report looks like over here as well there are so many different functions available or so many different capability as well available inside the world of power bi even you can see the filter pen over here i mean if you want to hide filter pen you can hide it as well so uh, you know if you just want to hide it you can simply go here and from here just hide it and you know once you make any small changes in your desktop file and want to republish just click on publish it again and again simply just clicking on sales team workspace and this time when you republish it it will just tell you that you need to replace the report because you published already one time so i'm just clicking on place and basically this is republishing the report over here into the power bi workspace so let it to be republished and again it will take some moments in order to republish the report and here i am my report has been republished successfully click on got it and let me just refresh my power bi report over here as well and here i am you can see that it has been published and now you can see even filter pen is hidden from here right so this is how the published version of your power bi report looks like and this is the method of publishing the report into workspace right so simple thing whenever you want to publish you can create your own workspace you can publish the report over there you can provide permission at your workspace level and that's pretty much it also there are so many other option as well to share the report which we will talk about in some upcoming classes so just wait for that all right apart from that let's say for an example if you don't have a license and let's say for an example if you just want to publish the report for yourself like let's say i'm building the report for uh, for, for some of the purposes but let's say i don't want to uh, distribute it across the team i just want to publish it into my workspace and just look at for myself at the time you can simply use this uh, my workspace option over here and when you look at the my workspace uh, it will just redirecting you over here in my workspace as well you can publish it so whenever you are having in your my workspace you know you are the only one who can able to see the report if it is not shared with anyone else right so this is how the overall publishing of the report in the world of power bi looks like
Hope this video helps you and values your time. If so, hit thumbs up and subscribe my channel. And if you haven't followed me in my Twitter and Instagram so far, do follow me over there. With this, this is Thruveen signing off. See you in the next session with some amazing content. Till then, if you are looking for any paid consultation or paid training, just check out my website for more information. This is Thruveen signing off. See you in the next episode with some amazing content. Till then, have a great day. Goodbye.